So once again, guys, we saw up until now, we saw four characters, right? We saw Soul Kai, Mei, and Axel. So today, put two new ones, Chip and Potemkin. You know, more unique characters. So up until now, aside from Axel, you know, even Mei got, I guess, more like toned down. She seems more aggressive, more like rushed down along with Kai and Soul. But now we're getting the more technical uh, side of things here. So today should be a little bit more interesting. So let's just go right into it. Chip, this is who I, one of the characters I want to play in the beta. Is what I thought. Then I watched the trailer and I was like, I don't know. I don't know. Seems like a lot of work just to get like one non-counter hit touch by Soul and just die. Chip is a ninja with the fastest speed in the entire cast. You can easily that. open up your opponent's defense with the speed and variety of moves. Alpha. All right, we're going we're gonna to start. Oh, oh, this got me hyped. This part got me hyped. But right off the bat, that hit me right away. It was like, Chip is a ninja with the fastest speed in the cast. Is that including Milia? I always felt like Milia is faster. I always felt like Milia is faster than Chip. Her air dash are always just mixing me up, man. I don't know. But yeah, let's watch the fastest little speed intro in here against Pot. Cast. Air dash. You can open up your I don't know why he's doing a combo. Speed and variety of moods. Alpha Bla so there's one. Look how plus the Gamma Blade is, right? Speed we'll see it later too, cast. but Gamma Blade got changed in this version. I'll explain it later. Speed. But a lot of the things that we've seen in the trailer so far is moves that are plus. Moves that weren't plus before are now super plus. So offense is becoming a lot stronger, right? It definitely seems like this more aggressive game. With the speed like Gamma Blade, and he's plus after. You can Alpha tell he's Blade, plus. Horizontal. This Chip got me hyped though. Before lunging forward, he will you know? move behind the opponent while slashing when he so I, yeah. comes in contact with them. I watched it. I was like, you know, it's Alpha Blade. Nothing special. It's not. This is not Alpha Blade. It's very, very different. Listen. I think he says it right here. Listen up. As Chip will end up behind the opponent, the opponent has to change the direction of their guard making it a great move to break their defense. That hits behind. That's like Leo's run through. The Hail Mary, Leo run through out of the corner. That shit crosses up. The opponent has to change the direction of their guard. The opponent has to change the direction of their guard. So yeah, as you see, the hitbox is later. The, like it's, it's why it's very similar to, to Leo's, right? So his old alpha blade, it hits in the front. So it hits earlier. Now you see the delay, right? It doesn't hit until it gets behind you. Same thing with Leo, right? He runs through you. Then he hits you. In the Frosty, you, you got the, uh, the, the guy in the chat. In the, the Frosty, they cross up depending on how close Alpha Blade was. That's the same thing as Leo. Leo is the same way. His move runs and crosses up. But if you're too far away, you'll still get the hit, but it won't cross up. It's spacing dependent. But this is definitely a cross up move now. And that's confirmed. Next. Diagonal. Chip vanishes before lunging diagonally forward. He will move behind the opponent while slashing when he comes into contact with them. The trajectory yeah. of his line and the air goes down. When this move is, this is what I didn't get though. So I didn't get this part. Beta oh, blade. The mouse. They, they don't do any explanation. I guess, you know, because it's just an intro. But so on the ground, it goes up. In the air, it goes down. But they say when you're in the corner, it changes the trajectory. But how? He just like jumps off the wall randomly. Look. Into contact with them. The trajectory of his lunge will also change when like, this move is done. So I have no idea. His, his lunge will also change when this move is done. Is that like corner. off a wall jump? I don't know. Beta Blade. Chip becomes invincible and slashes yeah, above right. him while Classic rising in the air. As Chip rises upwards while attacking, this move is great against opponents coming Again, in. Again, I like the that air. seal. I like the seal it's effect. It's also a great move to use after there. being knocked down or during the opponent's offense. So DP, of we're just trying to see if it was a combo. So that, that's also invincible. Yeah. Gamma Blade. Counter. So we've been talking about this, you know. Uh, okay. This is to get out of a tough situation. Bop. The big counter that people don't understand that we're slowly, people are slowly starting to figure out. So this definitely doesn't appear for every move. It seems theory crafting is that only certain moves have this effect, which means that it leads to a combo after. So if his DP gets this like heavy counter, as a move is also invincible. Does he get a combo after Gamma that? Blade. Who knows? Chip creates a clone of himself. Right. Now this is a big change. To attack the opponent. This is a very big change. Chip will receive the same damage yeah. as a clone. That's scary. If the clone so look at his life. An attack from That's the two opponent. hits. The clone. If the clone receives an attack from the opponent. The optimal range to use this move will be the same distance as the tip of standing Mix. heavy slash or forward heavy slash. Resho. 50%. Or forward heavy 50 slash. 50% of a mix up. There's no mix up the though. There's no Oki, right? The There's no Oki in this game though, right? Isn't that what they were telling me? The same distance as the tip Boop. of standing heavy slash or forward heavy slash. Resho. Gamma Blade sucks now. Yeah, I. it's definitely different. You know, before Gamma Blade was a projectile. It was like super, super strong projectile that gave you free combo on hit. 
Now it seems like it's an additional pressure tool. There's a good uh, point. Because you saw how much damage he took when he got hit. What if they add in, like, instant kills? What if you could instant kill his Gamma Blade? They, they, who knows? We'll see. Chip strikes the opponent while moving forward. Resho. Now they've just gone through his, his Rekka series fast, here. And it leaves a very small opening. Not really, not really focus too tricky here, except you, you notice how the move whiffs against the opponent. that's not the rest They're going to go through all also three. Use it after a far but the overhead gives, it looks like it gives a, a combo even on non-counter hit. Rokusai. Rokusai. The follow-up attack that is available during rest show that must rest be show. crouching. The move can be canceled into Senshu. Even Stagger, if the move counter, and then you get a combo opponent. after that. Use this move when you catch your opponent moving after using rest show. Senshu. Senshu. This is the last part of the overhead part. Available right, if you played the old game, you know about all these things that here. Yeah, that definitely, definitely gets solid. And after using Resho. Banzai! Gen rolls on. A move that grabs the opponent. Command grab. Although this move has slower startup compared to a regular throw, it has wider range and deals more damage. It is also difficult to punish this move when it whiffs against the opponent. Shuriken. Let me pause again. So command grab, you know, he's had that command grab for a while. It doesn't do as much damage as solar pot, but so far we've seen soul command grab, may command grab, axle command grab, chip command grab, faust command grab. So every character in the beta is going to have a command grab except for uh, Kai. Chip you know Kai is going to cry. Too. You know Kai is going to cry. Oh, we need, we need command grab. You can only use this move when chip is in the air. You can easily get in on the opponent. Again, more plus frames. Again, right? Just more offense. from a jump in. Wall run. And now this is where the she move gets where tricky. Chip runs up the wall in the corner. You can cancel this move to yeah. Alpha Blade. You can also cancel it into Escape to catch your opponent off guard. Wait, hold on. Did, did he mean cancel Alpha from Alpha Blade? Blade? Where Chip runs Alpha Blade. Blade. He said you can cancel this move to Alpha Blade, but that was from Alpha Blade. Does he mean you can do Alpha Blade from the wall run? Because remember we saw earlier we saw the trajectory like shoot him out of the corner. Maybe that's what he meant. It's like when you're running him to Alpha Blade, it shoots you that way. But yeah. Zynax, this guy's American, but I talked about it. Like every, when you live in Japan for too long, your English kind of gets weird. But yeah, so we definitely know you can go from Alpha Blade, right? So you cancel Alpha Chip Blade right into the, the wall. In the corner. You can cancel this move yeah. to Alpha Blade. Yep. You can also cancel it into Escape to catch your opponent off guard. Wall Tricky. run attack. And now you get these cool combos. You will combos. be able to use yeah. some of your normal attacks during wall run. So all of them, you right? You will be able to perform all, all another hit. Only two, the know. first hit connects. Ba, allowing ba, you to do a ba, combo while running ba. up a wall. Escape. They this move can all. be done anytime during the wall run. Inputting left or down will change the trajectory of this movement. What was that? During the wall run. Inputting left or down will change the trajectory of this movement. This allows you to attack the opponent from different angles. Was that full speed? Did they speed that up or what? He hit the ground and just like blew up. This Look move at this. can be done anytime during the wall run. Watch this when he hits the ground right here, ready? Down will change the trajectory of this movement. Nah, they, they had to speed this that up, right? That's not, that's not game. Different angles. But yeah, after that, like, the mix Sunse right there. Roga. Chip becomes a and vanishes before lunging forward with a strike. This move has long range, and it deals massive damage. As this move covers the whole screen, it is effective when used as a counter against the opponent's moves. Although the start Looks of really this cool, move is slower than... But it makes you feel a little bit sad for May, because we saw May yesterday. Damage. May, May supers side. don't have any animation. An invincible this is my favorite super right? that knocks the opponent back on hit. The move is also really fast, making it a great tool to end your combo with massive damage. Air confirms. It and is again, also that's easier that. to link. Air. Oh, there's no the combos, combo. man. There's no Air combos. Air. What's going on? Zanse Roga. Zanse Roga. Get a head start. That was all the air. Combo. That's an air to air combo. confirm in the air dash, which is the brand new to the also game. Really fast. You know. Making it a great tool to end your combo. See with. that. You couldn't do that in your old Guilty Gear. You can do it now. So air to air, confirm in the air dash, bring him back down on the damage. ground. It is also oh, easier to link this move from a combo compared to <laughs> Zante Roga. Get a nah, that was more than one. That was 19. That was one ability. nine. Once you're in range, you have the option mm -hmm. to cross up the opponent with Alpha Blade Horizontal. Hit nah, them damn. with the low Rokusai or the overhead Senshu. Yeah, counter. You, you get can the combo also here. Your off guard by using Gen Rolzan. Gamma, yeah, so it seems like uh, Gamma Blade 2 is more Gamma like pressure now. You can't really use it as corner. like a free busted projectile. Thank you for watching. Thank you for making it. Guilty Gear Strive. Chip looks hard. That's Watching that, like before, I was like, man, I want to play Chip. I want to play Chip. I watched that trailer. I was like, Chip looks mad hard. Out of every character we've seen so far, he looks like he's going to be the hardest to control. And then you all also always have to add in the fact that he takes so much damage. 
So Chip, if you don't know, if you're trying to get in this game, he is uh, a ninja. He's supposed to be like the glass cannon where he's very, very strong on offense, but he just absolutely dies on defense. Like you can find some meme videos. I'm sure you look it up. Just watch Chip dying in like one hit, two hit. So like you're going to have to be flawless with this character. We, we've seen too in the trailer so far that any hit is a combo. You don't need like counter hits. You don't need to burn RC. There's like stray hits in this game, like stray anti-air 5k that's not counter hit. So any like one of Soul's Volcanic Vipers, anything is like a full combo. I don't know if I'm manly enough uh, for that kind of stuff. But he definitely looks like he's got the most options. He's the most kind of like free form of all the characters we've seen so far. I'll give him a try, but I don't know. I think he might be out of my... I might just be a dumb soul player. I think I might just be a dumb soul player. Yeah, just... He'll be, like, doing all this mix, like, wall jumps and stuff. He'll hit me a couple times, and I'm just going to just grab him once and just... You win. 